Welcome back to another RMS Support Center tutorial video. Today's topic is going to be how to assign action items within a contract. In order to get started, we're going to go ahead and enter into a contract. Next, we're going to go ahead and enter into the action item control module under the admin tab. Within the action item control module, we see a list of action items that we can enable for this specific contract. The first column displays whether those action items are for the government or for a contractor user. To enable a action item, simply find the action item that you wish to enable, select it. In this case, we're going to enable one for the contractor. Either click the checkbox enable or click the radio button enabled. Now we can also assign action items to a specific user by clicking the blue tile on the bottom. We're then presented with a lookup of all the staff for this contract. In this case, we're going to go ahead and look for my name. And then we're going to go ahead and select and highlight and click OK. Now I've officially assigned all action items for activity scheduled finish date has passed to myself. And we can see that change within the contract menu if we hit the back arrow here. Now we see that there are 268 contractor action items and we can see those action items by simply clicking on the dashboard contractor action items. And now we see a list of all the contractor action items within this contract. In this case all the action items are based on the activity scheduled finish date which has passed. And we also see in this column the person who is it assigned to. In this case all the action items are assigned to myself and all of them require that a schedule finish date should be placed for these specific pay activities. And that's how you assign action items to a specific user.